Reporting live from downtown Gainesville, live in downtown Orlando, reporting live in Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention. Roll call is currently taking place on the floor and later tonight there will be speeches including one from former President Bill Clinton. Under this tarp you can see where the suspect fired his four shots. One of the main areas of concern has to do with flooding and a combination of storm surge waters and rainfall. Funds from the sales tax referendum would help upgrade equipment at Marion County Fire Rescue like this bunker gear. Loud music and texting while driving are the leading causes of distraction related crashes. 168 were eligible for the scholarship, leaving some teachers feeling erased from the equation. Some critics of the app are saying that it's distracting users because one second they'll be looking down at their phone screens. People have been lining outside the Buffalo Wild Wings location since as early as 3 a.m. Staff at the Sustainable Design Group make many blueprint drafts before builders can create these tiny homes. What strategy does the Democratic Party have to take in order to win the state of Florida in the general election? And I'm Nestor Montoya. We are getting a better idea of the shooter based on evidence pulled from his cell phone and computer. Making state headlines today, the NRA is asking Florida to bring back another bear hunt. It all depends on what UF forecaster Danielle Prince has to say. Danielle, what are the chances your forecast will rain on my parade this weekend? It was a rough start with clear signs of a divided party, but as the convention continued, the Democratic Party, well, they came closer together. But today is a day of general excitement for all Florida delegates and delegates alike. And tonight, uh, they are all at the Wells Fargo Center hoping to get a glimpse of such a historic moment. Tonight's the big night, the official end to the Democratic National Convention. This has been an amazing event. It's been awesome to hear from all these great speakers and be a part of this historic event. I've just been overwhelmed with this whole experience. Throughout the week, delegates have networked and gotten to listen to speeches from important party figures. Today, you nominated the real one. But the We're ultimate goal halfway. of the DNC is to create a party platform and choose a candidate for president. Delegates and constituents in Florida shared their excitement about tonight's main event, the moment Hillary Clinton accepts her nomination. I think she is the most qualified candidate we've ever had to run for president and be our president. And I am just so excited to hear her in person, see her, and I'll probably cry my eyes out. With many Bernie supporters backing Clinton now, some still aren't thrilled, but say she's their only other viable option. We just, we have to move on. And so I'm probably not going to be like cheering and going, oh yeah, no, no. I'm just going to be quiet and I'm going to be respectful. But with tonight's events aside, the real conversation at the delegation breakfast this morning was making sure delegates continue to motivate their districts back home to win seats at all levels of government. And I think it's particularly been frustrating in Florida because the truth is that Democrats win the presidential races and we don't win the local races. And that can change. People have been making their way over to the Wells Fargo Center since as early as 2 p.m. because they want to make sure that they can grab a seat to watch tonight's historic moment. For more news and convention coverage, log on to WUFT.org and listen to WUFT-FM 89.1. Reporting live in Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention, Nestor Montoya, WUFT News. Florida's nature coast is buckling down and preparing for Tropical Storm Colin to make landfall. The National Hurricane Center has issued tropical storm warnings to all coastal counties in the area. Levy County Cedar Key is just one of the areas that will be affected, but the reaction from locals is fairly calm. Um, for the most part, you know, they've been through them before and, um, you know, they take it serious, but they don't overreact and they don't panic. But despite relaxed attitudes, Cedar Key officials have already been taking measures to prepare. The main road to Cedar Key has been closed, boat docks shut down, and even schools had early dismissal. It's just a part of being here. You know, we don't, we're not too concerned about it. We, maybe we should be, but complacency maybe is a problem. At the local grocery store, some residents were stocking up on essentials just in case, but still didn't seem too worried. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that bad of a storm. Levy County Emergency Management says they're expecting at least four to six inches of rain for the city and one to three feet of storm surge. As tropical storm Colin gets closer to making its landfall here in Cedar Key, one of the main areas of concern has to do with flooding and a
combination of storm surge waters and rainfall. Though only expecting tropical storm effects, emergency management is advising all locals in affected areas to stay indoors and stay safe. At Gainesville's Eastside High School, driver safety is a priority. Students can take driver's ed to better prepare for when they go out on the open road. But today, students got a special lesson. A lesson about the importance of being a responsible driver. Funded by a DOT grant, organizations are able to come to counties with the highest teen fatalities and crashes. According to the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, Alachua County had about 747 distracted driving crashes in 2015. And even though we didn't lose any teens fatally um, in Alachua County in 2014, we did have a lot of accidents in Alachua County. Drive to Care, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Gainesville's Bicycle and Pedestrian Program teamed up and are going school to school to make their message loud and clear. If we can make a difference with one person in that room that we're speaking in, that's all it takes. Because Students learned about the dangers and weapons of mass distractions that prove most hazardous. Loud music and texting while driving are the leading causes of distraction-related crashes for teen drivers on the road today. Wristbands were passed out and students made a pledge to remember to make the right choices when driving. In the end, Judy's goal of reaching out to at least one student was met. Just make sure they pay attention, like, because there are a lot of people dying and getting injured, like teenagers, and I just don't want that to happen to nobody, anybody I know. Nestor Montoya, WUFT News.